All right, CMD Boxing Reports. This is Ronell here reporting here, and I'm back at it for the Boxing Fanatics. Yeah, man. So, all right, Amir Khan, right, was uh has stated that this fight coming up, you know, is a very important fight, and he also said that he likes taking big fights like this one. Now he also uh, fired some shots by saying, you know, people should appreciate him by taking on this fight with America, American and other, I mean, uh, Terrence Crawford and other big fights. I mean, he could be doing other useless things like taking on fights that doesn't matter, like fighting Kell Brook. I mean, he didn't say it like in that way, but he did say he could be doing, you know, senseless things like taking on Kell Brook. Wow, shots fired. Can't wait to see or hear what Kell Brook has to say about that, all right? Now, let's talk about this fight here. Now, usually I go for the underdog, okay? Now, I understand that Amir Khan is the underdog and Terrence Crawford, that is my boy, you know what I'm saying? But uh, all I wanna know is how Crawford is going to fight Amir Khan because what it takes to subdue Amir Khan I don't see Crawford doing all right that much. The only thing I see Crawford doing is moving forward and moving backwards. And to subdue Amir Khan, okay, you has to cut off the ring, all right. Once you cut off the ring on Amir Khan, he just loses it, okay. I mean, that nervous energy start building up. You know, that, that footwork of his, you know, he start doing the two steps, start stuttering. He becomes flat footed, uh, flat footed. And before you know it, wham. Okay, yeah, there goes the big money punch. Okay. You see American lying down on the canvas being counted out. All right. But see, that's what it takes. And I don't see my man Crawford doing that. Now, I'm not saying that I'm picking American to win in this although i do go with the underdogs okay but in this fight here it's you know 50 50 for me because like i said what terrence crawford has to do i never seen him do before all right now a lot of people say yeah crawford gonna knock him out in the sixth round now look 2019 has started off kind of you know slow for the welterweight division i means we had uh porter versus yugas decision all right, um, Keith Thurman, he comes back, decision. Um, you had Spence versus Garcia, decision, all right? So here we are with, with Crawford and Khan. Now, with the Spence and Garcia fight, lots of people expected that fight to end by a knockout. Yeah, man, he's gonna knock him out six rounds. He's gonna hit that body, boom! Oh, man, yo, Garcia's gonna tip over and be out. Nah. Ain't none of that stuff happen, all right? Um, hey, by all of our uh, our surprise, Mikey Garcia went the distance. Okay, now I thought it'll be stopped. You know, I didn't. I couldn't see Mikey Garcia getting knocked out. Okay, but I could see his corner throwing in the towel. And during the later rounds, they was talking about it. You know, look, we want to stop the fight. Just what I, you know, I had expected. But Mikey Garcia, he had continued. So we're going to see what this fight here will uh, bring. Will, you know, Crawford knock out Khan or will the fight goes to the distance? You know, I wouldn't be surprised if it did go the distance, because like I said, I don't see, you know, Crawford doing the things he needs to do to knock out Amir Khan. Danny Garcia did it. Um, Canelo Alvarez, he did it. And yes, you know, Amir Khan was winning those fights. But like I said, when they did the the ultimate, started cutting off the ring, putting that pressure on them, American fell apart. It's a wrap, all right? So anyways, man, uh, that's my take on this. This is CMD, Boxing Reports, and I'll catch you on the next.